A very good afternoon, Luke everybody, and happy Google Mother's time. Day to all who are celebrating that wonderful, wonderful thing today. But here That's we have a wonderful bullseye from Luke Humphreys to start things off. Here in round one of Players' Championship 7, and he's up against a player he has never beaten. Luke has won the ball and throw first. It'll be interesting to see what Luke Humphreys can do Game in the on. first round here, because I... Paul the Asset Nicholson commentating alongside my good friend and colleague Mark Wilson here. 180. Or maybe looking at the most frustrated player in world darts because he hasn't won this year yet. No, but what a start. A maximum to kick things off. And uh, he's, uh, well, it's an interesting battle, isn't it, with Mensah, who's back in the red bit himself. So, not a bad start to proceedings. Hopefully, a sign of things to come today. I'm expecting big things from this field. But it is a field that has changed over the last few days because we do have some omissions. The likes of two of our card holders, Adam Smith, Neil, Joe Mernon, James Wilson, Nathan Rafferty, and Adrian Lewis are not here. But added to that list are players like Peter Wright, Michael Smith, the world champion and world number one, Ryan Searle, a winner this year, and Nathan Aspinall isn't here either. So we do have a smattering of challenge to our players here who have been playing for the last couple of days yeah. here in this arena. Yeah, they have indeed. One, uh, oh, it's an opportunity, isn't it? For some of the uh, the names lower down the list, if you like, to make an impact, earn some money. But Mentz has uh, got his hands full here, hasn't he, in the opening leg, Luke Humphreys. Wasting no time, could kick off with an 11 data. And maybe he's taking 47. that frustration out on Mensa. Tops for the first leg. Game shot. Well, neither dart was near where he was going, but it is an 11 dart to start things off against a player who seems to have forgotten his razor. Now, he's he's usually see a very clean shaven Sulevic, but he's going for the rugged look today. Yeah, he is. I think it suits him, Mensa. I think he uh, he looks quite quite cool, I think. He's uh, won't be happy with that last dart, will he? The deflection into the one, but. He's got to get his uh, acting gear pretty quickly here, hasn't he, against Humphreys, who we were looking at the stats 25. earlier. He's big on his maximums. Not quite as big as Dirk van Dijvenborde, but he's uh, getting there. It's incredible when you look through the stats after the first six weeks of the season. And sometimes you do get really hot starts from certain players. And we come to expect big maximum hitting from players who are playing a lot of games 100 but when it comes to Humphreys he's second in players championship events this year in hitting 180s he's got 78 and you think well that's a great effort well make it 80 because he's got two in this match already yeah. but when you think about who's above him and there's only one name that is Dirk van Dijvenborde who's got 107 he's almost 30 ahead of his next challenger in maximums 140 yeah. as you pointed out earlier on the only player male player to win twice on tour this year but he's uh making it runs again look at that he's again he's on another 11 dart leg we we saw him earlier on in the players championship average over 112 i think in his game um with uh, luke woodhouse and that was phenomenal and it was very much like this impressive start 100 this look and you might get your first victory against sulevich in your career he's lost twice to him Game but shot. the number two is very apt for this game because he's 2-0 up. He's 2-0 down in his head-to-head -head record with Sulevic. But Luke Humphreys has won twice in this room. Admittedly, in development to her action. 100. A few seasons ago. But the number two seems to be following him around at the minute. It does. Well, at this rate, Mensah's going to have time to go get a shave, isn't he? This afternoon, he's 100. going to have to uh, get his scoring going, but he's just struggling at the moment with Humphreys. So it's nice and relaxed, doesn't he? 97. Very much at ease with how darting life is treating him. I know it's a very difficult tour. Yourself and I, Mark, yesterday were talking about the things that the fans don't see, the travelling aspect, the, the waiting around in queues all the time. And this is why they're here. And when they are here, they want to make the most of it. 125. I do indeed. Not quite being 11 data this time for Humphreys, but he's in ascendancy again. 
Mensah just struggling for line and length at the moment. And that's 50. not enough, is it? So Humphreys about to go 3 0 up. Race to six. Trying to get the 1 7 1 here. Or indeed, another type of approach. 115. The inner ring, which we see as the treble these days, just trying to find other ways of seeing it. But he's got it at his mercy in this game so far. 40. And he's got Mensur very close to pressing the panic button. Double eight. Well, it's game terrible 14 data considering he started with two 11s. What a performance from Humphreys. This is incredible. It is incredible. He's had three darts at a double and all three have gone in the target so he's halfway there Mensa he never really changes does his his facial expression but inside he must be pretty worried here that it's going to be a short afternoon for him in, here in Hildesheim he needs to get his scoring boots on and get them on quickly one of the benefits of being in Luke's position as a top seed or in his case the top seed the number one which is something he's gotten used to over the last six months is that he knows exactly when he's going to play it whereas Sudovic this morning when he woke up had no idea whether it would be one o'clock 145 maybe 230 in the fourth game in the first round on his designated board and it, it is a sense of comfort for these players when they do Nine, come to these events six. they know exactly what kind of time frame they have to prepare before that first dart is thrown we mentioned Ricky Evans form beforehand uh, not being in great form Ricky Evans but he's got off to a good start he's 3-1 up against Joe Cullen could be a bit of an upset on the cards there 100 uh, Mensah at least in this leg is going to get a look at a finish whether he can take it out or not is a different question here's Humphrey's going to leave the 170 60 this time he fails to leave the finish after nine. And Sulevich can just amble his way to the finishing line here in leg four. He might be looking to leave double 14, which everybody knows he loves, but he's going to shirk away from that section of the board and leave double eight instead for a 12 daughter. 105. Well, that would have been a nice way to... Get the first leg on the board, but he's got the comfort blanket. He knows he'll be back. Humphrey's going to look for a third maximum. Can't quite do it on this occasion, but Mensah, three darts here at double eight and three big darts in this match. If you're going to miss this, just half a centimeter outside is a good guide. Game shot. But that's even better. Sudovic has been accused on occasion in the past of being somewhat deliberate in his nature. At the hockey, and maybe his opponents have needed a bit of a shave after half a match because he takes a bit more time than usual but I think everybody is pretty much tuned into the rhythm of Sudovic these days which is not as quick as it was when he was at his full height so he's just searching for something oh, at the minute is meant to it but he's going to need more than he's doing right now considering the stats you've already seen from Humphreys can't quite get a third maximum, but a better second visit to the leg. So Mensah having just got a foothold here. If he can go big here, he's only a break behind, but would need two breaks to win from this position. 100. And a ton doesn't quite feel enough at the moment. Zumfries is back in the red bit again. It's flowing nicely, isn't it? The Humphreys throw at the moment. He said he looks so relaxed. He's a player now that's become accustomed to winning wherever he goes at the moment. It's a lovely feeling when you've got it and you don't want to let it go. But it's a precarious feeling as well. It's a bit like that experiment that they give you as a kid. 44. Saying you have to look after this egg for a week. You hold on to it and you think, this is a lovely egg. But one slip, smash. Just 60. like that. You can lose that confidence really quickly and to build it up again takes time so humphreys you can see in the background he's just walking a little slower than usual and i think he's just trying to burn some time because he knows that patience is the key in this fixture 
Nice visit from Mensa. So Humphreys just got to be tidy about his work here. One, two, four. Oh, that's a horrible first start. So Mensa's going to get a chance to get 54. that first break back here. If he can stay straight, there's every chance he can get this Shanghai finish. And time's gone by. I wouldn't be surprised to see Sulevich go for the triple dip at the top for the three double tops, but he's become more of a traditional animal over the years. Just can't negotiate that blocker with the first one. He was trying to sneak it in from the side, but just over delivered it. Meaning Humphreys will get, you would think, 60. at least one dart here for a 4 1 advantage. Just uttered, come on to himself there before that single 18. Get and his off. doubling has been extraordinary in this first round match. Yeah, yet to miss. And another nice check out there. Puts him within two legs, and that really is a missed opportunity. Speaking of missed opportunities, Ricky Evans was 3 1 up over Joe Cullen. It's now 4 3 to Joe Cullen in that one. Uh, Johnny Clayton is a leg away. He's 5 1 up over Nick Kenny. And Gerwin Price is in a spot of bother. He's 5 3 down to Kevin Dutes. That's an interesting fixture. I was watching Price practice this morning. He was hitting everything. So just in a. Spot of bother as the Iceman, and Humphreys, like I mentioned, he's lost to Sulevic twice. 2020, 98. lost in a Players' Championship in Coventry by six legs to three, and their most recent meeting at the Grand Slam in 2021, Sulevic beaten by five legs to three in a very good game, in fact. Both averaged in three figures in that eight-leg contest, but Humphreys has been slightly more worrying for the competitors in the draw over the last 18 months. 140. Yeah, so uh, when you know you're, you're in his part of the draw, Luke Humphreys, you know you're in for a tough afternoon. And I think that's the standard now that Luke Humphreys is at, isn't he? He's one of the names that you want to avoid and uh, want to avoid on a regular basis, really. But Mensa is uh, going to get another chance here. But can't find a big treble, so... That's a better last 98. start. That leaves him very handy and a, a chance to hold, but it is only a hold if he takes out 60. What's Humphrey's going to do this time? I've seen quite a lot of players this season already in that spot leave 21. Sulevich is going to have nothing in the way of tops. That flight might just bump it in. Game shot. Just like that. Perfectly done from Sulevich. Yeah, that was a nice first dart, wasn't it? Well positioned. Humphreys knows two, holds the throw, and he'll be in two. The last 64 here. Mensa needs to go big and go big quickly here. That's a good start. Dave Chisnell's already through. He's beaten Callum Goff in six legs to one. Martin Schindler's 5 3 up over Raymond Van Barneveld. 140. What a draw that is. Barnevel needs to do some work over the next couple of months. He's just on the bubble, on the outside of the bubble, in fact, when it comes to the race for the world match play. It's not over till it's over, but I've got a funny feeling Barney's going to do something over the next six to eight weeks. It's a, it's a bustling time here in Hildesheim because we've had challenge to action the last two days. And big congratulations to the likes of Barry Van Peer, who's in the field today. He won oh, on Friday, 100. as did John Henderson, picking up his first PDC title in singled competition after a storied career. And yesterday, wins for Ron Muhlenkamp and for Dragutin Horvat. But it has been a week of firsts. First wins in the PDC for Muhlenkamp and for Hendo and Horvat. But the first nine data for a lady in PDC action yesterday from Fallon Sherrick. Oh, that was the hundreds. story of the last couple of days. Yeah, it was. First of many, I'm sure. As here, 164 for Humphreys. Won't go on this occasion, but. 96. These men's are needing a big one. 161. He loves a 161. He does. He had a belter at the Worlds. Maybe the finish of the tournament. Chris Mason said, if looks could kill when he hit this. And he's Game done it again! 
Wow, what a saver for Mensua. He just loves a 161. Do not leave Mensa on 161. He will take it. Look at the smile of appreciation from Luke Humphreys. Sometimes you've just got to admire quality, and that was quality from Mensa. And now he's throwing a goal level at 4 4. I'm sitting here thinking Humphreys is strolling here. That has changed this game completely. If you're going to get a shot like that, do it against the throw as well. And that's exactly what he's done. One hundred and five. One hundred. I think we just needed to catch our breath there, Mark. Honestly, what a finish. We'll be hard pushed to say a better one than that on the stream board all day long. And it is a very competitive board that we have for you here on stream one. Ian White against Scott Waits after this. And Ian White is showing little glimmers of form. Yours are Jamie 60. Hughes is the secondary seed. He takes on William O'Connor, who is in a pretty good vein of form as well, without putting in massive statistics. 119. You've got Martin Clearmacker against Mike Kivenhoven at the end of the draw bracket on stream one. Both players averaging over a ton here. This has been a, a really tidy start, hasn't it, to the proceedings. And Mensa here, 100. only a ton. So Humphreys with the advantage. You, you'll want to get this put to bed as soon as he can, Luke Humphreys. But like you said, Mensa's not going oh, away, 100. is he? 100. He's like sand in your socks. You just can't get rid of him. Maybe the rugged look on Sunday is going to be something he'll keep. But like Tiger Woods in red on Sunday. And he's wearing a nice shade of red today as Mensua. 100. Could have done with a bit of red there, couldn't he? A treble would have been handy. So Humphreys gets 157. Aye, aye. No, not quite. So Mensa needs another top plus finish to go level at 4 4. That first start from Humphreys was so good. That it was almost a shame that he didn't have a finish where he could go for another treble 20. But he is going to get a look at 60 here. This is really interesting because we've seen this check out from Mensua. And he saw the first start as a nice bumper for a shot at the outer ring. Here, Humphreys needs it to be high. That's a beautiful single. Game shot. And he uses the flight in a very different way. He tries to hit the underside of it to cushion it in. And that is a masterful eighth leg from Humphreys. I can't tell you that Ricky Evans' misery continues. He's lost to Joe Cullen 6-5. And I can tell you that Michael Van Gerwen is out. Uh, sorry, he's through 6-0, sorry. I meant to say there. Getting my big names mixed up. Gerwin Price is out. I didn't expect that. 136. Big night for the Welsh darts yesterday. Johnny Clayton hit a nine darter in an exhibition pretty close to here. Nine daughters everywhere. I wonder if we're going to get one on the stream today. But are we going to get a win from Sulevich from this position? He's only got one win in players' championships this season so far. And that was against Brendan Dolan on the 11th of March. He's lost to the likes of Rob Cross, 60. George Killington, Dimitri Vandenberg. And he has had some tricky first round draws like this one today playing the likes of Peter Wright and Dave Chisnell as well. It hasn't been a great season for Sulevich yet. And it might be another early bath here on Sunday. Yeah, looking that way, isn't it? And that single five does not help at all. So Humphreys has got plenty of time to wrap this one 45. up. And progress through and Mensa, just a sign of frustration there. No pressure here on Humphreys. He's just gonna tee it up and 58. will leave himself tops for the match when he comes back. And Mensa now is hitting and hoping, but I think inside he knows this one is all over, but an act of defiance from Mensa sticks in a max. But too little, too late. It should be. Game and it is. And what a performance from Humphreys. At times, he was unsurpassable. But the fact that Sulevic hit that 1-6-1 just to try and stay in the game, it put Humphreys on notice. And the way he responded after that was brilliant. So Humphreys is into round two. And we'll find out who he will play in that round. After this short break, it will be either Ian White or Scott Waits.